migration, terrorism, poverty, inequality, climate change, pandemics and biosecurity, conflict, landmines, human rights, women's rights, children's rights, minority rights, language rights. <laughs> The two things that people most commonly associate with a country are A, having a passport, and B, having a territory. We happen to think that territory is a nuisance. The moment you have territory, you need an army to defend it. And by definition, all of our citizens have already got somewhere to live, so we don't need to provide them with anywhere else. And then as far as the passport is concerned, well, yes, we will be issuing passports. And one day, it may well be something that you can actually travel on. The goal of the good country is to change the culture of governance worldwide. For world leaders, that means understanding that it's not enough in this moment in history to just care for your domestic population and your slice of territory. And one of the great things about being a country is that we can behave like a country. We can adopt policies and we can implement them in the international domain. Each citizen of the good country pays uh, $5 in annual tax and that means that we will have economic hard power. So um, in certain instances we might choose to use that economic hard power to drive other actors to the negotiating table. At least 10% of the world's population would like to see the world change in the way that we describe it. More cooperation, more collaboration, a tiny bit less competition. I mean, competition's fine, but when it becomes the only altar at which countries worship, then it becomes problematic. I think the Good Country Project is a really valuable initiative. However, I think it's also a very romantic and even a utopian project. It's not clear to me how policies will be decided and, and it's not clear to me how policies will be enacted. My guess is that while the Good Country tries to behave more ethically than states, it, it may simply end up being another state with the kind of divisions and power politics that we've seen inside existing governments. Over the past 50 years, um, we've seen the creation of, of dozens of new countries, and so, um, if anything, it would be odd uh, not to see new countries form in the 21st century. Of course, this is a new kind of country, and, and that is really important because we have a different end goal. And we realize it's not going to be easy, it's not going to happen overnight, but this is a project based on hope. <laughs>